What's up guys, my name is Mr. Dark Cookie and welcome to Buffy the Vampire Slayer on the Game Boy Color. Now as some as you know, I have a special Buffy event going on for the month of July in order to celebrate both the 20th anniversary of the Buffy TV show, which was earlier this year, as well as the 25th anniversary of the Buffy movie and the Buffy franchise as a whole, which is uh, the 31st of July, hence why I'm doing this now and not early on in the year. But anyway, without further ado, let us head into Buffy the Vampire Slayer for the Game Boy Color and play this really old pixely mess. Once I click on the. There we go. Welcome to Sunnydale. New game. One afternoon, Buffy stops by Xander's. Hi guys, am I interrupting anything? Yes, go away. Anya, remember how we greet friends? Oh right. Hi Buffy, it's nice to see you again. Good, next lesson, sincerity. So what's up, Buffy? Surprisingly little, supernatural-wise. But it's still early. I'm sure there's some great evil preparing to ruin my day off. Ah, uh, there's nothing like living on a hellmouth. Vampires, werewolves, hellhounds, a slayer's delight. I thought those were all bad. Still not quite getting sarcasm, are we? Sarcasm is difficult. Why don't you just say what you mean? Because then I'd lose my trademark witty charm. Not to interrupt this fascinating discussion. But do you guys have plans for tonight? Post boring graveyard patrol anyway? Graveyards aren't boring. Sometimes Xander and I go there at night by ourselves and bird watch! Yes, those wacky birds! Never a dull moment. But getting back to tonight. So are we bronzing it then? Well, it does have certain advantages. Like being the only place in Sunnydale that isn't Dullsville. Yep, score one for the bronze. Meet you guys after patrolling, okay? Sounds like a plan. Now, let's go. Punch, punch, kick, kick. And jumps. Alright, collect this. Continue. Okay. This is like my third or so time actually recording this exact same segment. Purely because I I'm now recording it using my Elgato. Which took a little bit of setting up for it because it didn't want to work very well with this. But I was recording it with Fraps. Which was fine, was fine. I, I had issues bring it into Premiere, so I had to, all I had to do was uh, change the, the file type. That was easy enough. But no, I was having issues with the audio, like no matter how hard I tried, I I got my commentary, you could hear it for the most part, but see over this shit? These punching screams? Nah. It drowned me out. You could still sort of make make me out, but it no it was I I couldn't be bothered, you know. Because Fraps records it all into like one audio track, it was too much trial and error. Whereas at least with at least with the Elgato, I get a separate track for the game audio and a separate track for my commentary. So I can, if need be, adjust them in post, and I usually always do anyway. I have them pretty much set to so the fact they're near perfect for most games. And then I just uh, I do the final tweaking in Premiere for the audio levels. So yeah. So yeah, I'm 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 going to be trying to go through this pretty quick because no, I this is going to be very boring for me otherwise. But no, it's actually it's 
It's a very simple game. I mean, the art is horrendous. I mean, look at this shit. I don't... I have, like, a brown spot for an eye. But I also have brown spots for my hair. There's no... There's, there's nothing to this game at all. It looks... Terrible. But giving it to Game Boy Color game, it's, I'll, I'll let it get away with that. But it, it's playable, and that's the main thing. Graphics on everything, y'all. But, you know, it, it, it's also good being able to see what the hell you're doing. Which you can, you can, you can make out in this. But no, it, it's, it's quite fun, actually. It's by no means in-depth. Or like a fantastic game, it's, it's good. It's a, it's a good game. It's, it's not a great game. Uh, I even, I, I'm reluctantly saying it's a good game purely because it's a 2D side-scrolling beat-em-up. And it does that okay-ish. There's no combos, there's nothing. You just knock them down, you stake them. Which is, it's actually, it's, it's refreshing not having to think about any of this. There's no thinking at all in this game. Just trying not to die. Alright. Actually, I think... Was I just blocking? Yeah, I don't know really know the controls at all. I kind of figured them out in my first uh, test run. And only the A and B button and the direction buttons. Obviously, I'm emulating this. Uh, on the BGB emulator. So it's actually really good. It's... It's stretching it out a bit, but it's not too bad, actually. I mean, it's not perfect, and there's no real options in this emulator. But it doesn't look too bad. There we go. Enough patrolling. Time to head to the Brums. Uh, password. Okay. Continue. I don't really need that at the minute. Later that evening at the bronze. Hey Buffy, how was your patrol? Like Grand Central Station, only with undead instead of commuters. I must be covered in vamp dust. And that stuff never comes out of your clothes. Lots of vamps, huh? Maybe it means something. Maybe it's like an omen? I think it's an omen. You know, some kind of evil omen. Sounds like a job for everyone's favorite ex-librarian. Hey, don't forget research boy sitting right here. Right, and if we need a snack run, we'll call you. Burn. Ooh, that, that's a burn. Fine, muck my highly trained analytical mind. Because this guy's Sherlock right here. So what's with the days off anyway? Something hell monthly? Surprisingly, no. It's multicultural week on campus. All that extra culture means less time for school. Which is fine by me. Things are busy enough as it is. Speaking of which, where were you all day, Willow? Well, remember last Thanksgiving? Those Chumash tribes people who came back to life? Hard to forget the spirits of revenge who tried to kill us all. Well, I felt like I should try to make amends. You know, for killing them all. Again. So I volunteered to help out at the celebration this week. Not seeing the connection here. Hey, we destroyed their entire culture. The least we can do is help encourage multiculturalism. That sounds reasonable, sorta. Of. Good, you won't mind that I signed up everyone to help. What? Well, we all share the burden of blame. 
Hey, disease guy here thinks we're even now. I gotta go with Xander on this one, Will. No, it'll be fun, the whole Scooby gang working together. I don't understand how all of us being together is fun. And you love Dr. Fury. I'm probably butchering that, but I'm going with Fury. This whole thing is his idea. And you know, with a name like Fury, and this being his idea, yeah, this isn't gonna go well. That's just a sign of trouble. There must be a way out of this. Think, brain, think. Come on, it's not that bad. Oh, it probably is. There's even a party at the end. Okay, I'm sold, I'm going. Yep, all you have to mention is that there's a party. I mean, it beats our usual fight evil, save world, repeat. And on that note, I'm out of here. So soon? Figure I should put in some OT on the patrolling tonight. All those vams that make me wonder if something's up. Alright! Outside the nightclub. Some fight goes on, vampires. I keep. Like, throughout all of my, like, uh, test, like, performance and stuff, I have pretty much been accidentally calling them all zombies. Although, you know, you can't really tell with the, with the art. I mean, this just looks like a random biker guy with a chain that's flesh colored. Pick up the shield. Yeah, they're just flesh colored chains. You know how it is. Ooh, cola. Yes, now I don't know why, but this, this cola pickup is actually holy water. Or at least in, in context, it's holy water. Because it does the exact same, it like, it doesn't quite destroy them, but it takes off a lot of the health. You know, there's nothing holier than a uh, carbonated beverage. And I'm not even like the biggest fan of cola. I prefer, like, other soft drinks such as, like, Fanta or 7-Up or something. Like, Cola's an ice and all? They're not my go-to. Alright! Going good here. Come on. There we go. Literally, the gameplay is easy enough. All you have to do is lower the health a bit, uh, sweep kick them, and then stake them before the health fully regenerates. As long as you stake them while they've got a little bit of health uh, lost, then... then they die. It's actually, that simple. And if you manage to get them down to zero health, they just get knocked over. So it just gives you more time to stake them, and sometimes it's easier. I mean, sometimes it is, it's, just, it's just simpler to punch them down, just like that. But you can save a bit of time by doing like a, maybe even like, sometimes just the one punch and get the health down a decent bit. And sweep them. Stab them. There we go. Jim's books. Now uh, pick up this heart because I need more blood. There we go. This this isn't really all that hard at all. Yeah, I'm getting through this quite quickly, and let's see, there's only like eight levels in the game. Which means I, I could probably get this done in like one session. I mean, when I 
when I was looking up to see how many levels there were, I saw that there... Somebody had done a long play of this on YouTube. Ah, I did. It was literally only like an hour and a minute long. I didn't watch it or and... I am not putting up an, an hour long video. Because that'd just be a bit overkill at the minute. Oh, my button's stuck. But yeah, it's sort of like... This only takes me an hour to beat, then... I can get two, maybe... I break it up into two, maybe three parts. Yeah, they're all good. Oh no, come on. Come on, come on. That. So, I, I didn't realize actually pressing the button sped up your shield recovery. That's handy to know. You kidding me? He just bloody dodged that. I don't know if it actually would have hit him or anything, but... Alright, on we go. Broken glass, which means enemies. As soon as you see, like, a broken window in these games, you know someone's gonna jump out of it. Possibly more than one person, but this time only the one. Music store. Alright, there's another damned uh, vampire dead. Oh, and, and this one's like all purpley blue. He looks like a, uh, a dark elf from the Elder Scrolls. No, I. I almost don't want to kill him for that reason alone. But, no, he's dead. Okay. Punch, punch, punch. Sweet kick. Stab. Oh, and pick up the shield. Jump up. You've come far, but we'll go no further. Sorry, I think my kung fu's better than yours. It's a fucking ninja. Legit. Oh, he's got katana and all. Oh, that's... that's... Oh, that's fucking great. Now I'm just gonna punch him down. Yep. There we go. Let's him beat. Wow, that guy was tough. I'm done for tonight. And sweet, that's uh, password for that level. 